problem with it because you want to premiere it. To another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You see what these are? These are. Um, one second, I, I'm talking, guys. You're doing throw them by some, yourself? No, no, I'm just introducing them. Throw them in some of my pocket, whatever. This pocket's the empty one. That's right, guys. Joe's going in my pocket. Joe is going in my pocket. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling it. Ooh. I'm feeling it. <laughs> okay. So what we have here is a 2013 vintage edition of the maple of the maple stout at 11. percent You go to the John Average Dad, and what they were aged in? Uh, it said aged. I don't think any barrels. It didn't say barrels. Just, just aged, aged 13 18, months. 13 months. So no barrels, just aged. Okay, that's fine. That's that's acceptable. Whatever. 11 percent alcohol, maple stout. This might be vinegar. Yeah, maple. So maple. I hope not. That'd be shit. Okay, well, let's try this. Hey, uh, here, give me, give me the thing. We'll, we'll do, yeah, we'll do okay. perspectives by both of us. How about that? Okay, sure. Okay, so there goes Chad for the snifter. Hmm. In all honesty, I don't smell much. I kind of smell like, uh, almost like a popsicle stick and a little bit of... And a little bit of chocolate, almost. And to be clear, this, uh, Chad said it was from a bottle? Yes. As opposed to off the uh, tap, so it's not super cold or anything. No, it's it's chilled, but not at all bad. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Ooh, there it is. It's right there in the back. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're gonna let's switch. Let's we'll let we'll let Joe try it. Okay. So you didn't get much on the nose, right? No. Wow, really? There's nothing there. Yeah, it smells like almost nothing. So. And when I drank it, I didn't get much until the finish, like okay. as it aged back in. All right, cheers, you two. Uh. Yeah, it's there. But right at the end, not on the forefront like it it's usually It's all in the back. It's like the second half of the tongue all the way to the finish. Yeah. And it's really good. Maple flavor. It's really good maple flavor. Yeah, it's not It's not unrefined maple like the uh, maple porter from uh, Mill Street. No, not Mill Street. From uh, Nickel Brook. I know you want to talk a little bit more about it, so... But when you first get it, I don't know if you got it or not, but when I first drank it, it's almost like an apple brandy. Yeah, there was a weird, uh, there was a weird alcohol astringency up front. Yeah, uh, like, uh, for me, it was like an apple brandy astringency because it was a little sweet, but very astringent. But then the alcohol fades, and what you get at the end is dark, dark chocolate and and maple syrup. And that's and what I was going to say. Aside from the, the chocolate maple syrup, I'm getting nothing. I'm not getting a ton of roastiness. No, it's it's weird. It's weird and it's amazing at the same time. I actually like it quite a bit. You know, I like it quite a bit. It hasn't went bad. Yeah, um, because as we know, maple maple beers do go bad fairly easily. I think it's mostly because a lot of them aren't boiled out because you don't want to boil them out because you don't want to lose the sweetness. So because you don't boil them out, you're putting in a lot of foreign objects into the yeah. beer, which does make it turn to vinegar fairly quickly. Uh, this one did not. I don't know what they did to their maple syrup but this actually finished nicely, and I've never had a maple beer that I've been able to age for 13 months. This is better than the majority of the maple beers I've ever had, uh, just on pure maple flavor. Yes, I, I would agree on that. And at 11% alcohol, it is, oh my God, fuck you up. I don't, aside from a little bit of uh, warming in my stomach, I have no idea what's going on in terms of 11%. I feel like, uh, you know, maybe like six or seven or something, you know? First beer from Turtle Island, and it's it's fucking fantastic. I'd give it a Yeah, nine. I think my only thing... Maybe, maybe an 8.7. The only thing I would say is bad about it, and it's not actually bad, it's just weird for this style, is that apple brandy forefront, that like almost to, ice wine forefront. I'd like to try it fresh, because I have no idea what it... There's no comparison. Yeah, uh, and that's the thing. She offered it to me on cask or out of the bottle. I said out of the bottle because, I mean... It's. I, I wanted to see it on its own, not on the cask, because on the cask you're gonna you're actually more likely to get a. Uh, in all honesty, casking this, you're more likely to get an actual vinegar, yeah. and I didn't want that. 
I don't even know if I'm going to try the cask version because that might fuck us up for trying anything else. Because that one's 14. They have, they have a lot of stuff. Turtle Island came to this fest and they probably have the most impressive uh, list I've seen. Yeah, I want to. I want to try the Smash Cherry they for have sure. Triple chocolate on cask. Triple, triple chocolate stout on cask. Yeah, I want to try both of those. I think I might. I might stick back from the uh, the cask master or whatever what the, the fuck that? it was. I don't even that, that was that 14 percent one. Oh, I, I, I think. Yeah, well, I I think I would come back at the end for that, yeah. but until then I won't. So out of ten, what do you think? I said eight seven five. I can't give it a nine. I wanted to. I did originally, but eight seven five is where it's at for me. I love maple beers, as everybody knows, or maybe nobody knows. I love maple beers. I don't think it's worth a nine. Though. You know what? She's a redhead, so a nine. <laughs> Shout out to El Hurlock. Yeah, Lee. She's a redhead. Nine out of ten. Stout strut. Hi. Well, average dad is, I don't know, he successfully used the, 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 the outhouse. I'm waiting for the token so I can go get some apple pie. Oh my god. <sighs> Thank you guys. Bye. Bye.